Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 strongest swordsmen in One Piece. For this list, we'll be looking at the most skilled and powerful characters in One Piece who wield a blade. To be clear, we won't be including any characters who have eaten devil fruits with offensive abilities. We're just looking at pure human strength here. Number 10, Kinemon. The samurai of Wano Country are renowned for their skills with the blade, and Kinemon is no exception. The leader of the famous Kozuki clan retainers, the Nine Red Scabbards, Kinemon may have eaten a devil fruit, but his powers are purely and literally cosmetic. Though he may come across as a buffoon, and many of his biggest triumphs occur due to luck, Kinemon is still a skilled tactician and a powerful swordsman. His foxfire style lets him generate and cut through fire. Additionally, his haki is strong enough to stab his swords through the scales of Kaido, the nearly invincible emperor. Number 9, Vista. Shirohige Kaidokudan Gobantai Taicho, Kaken no Vista. The Whitebeard Pirates were one of the strongest crews to sail the New World, and their strongest swordsman was Vista of the Flower Swords. Along with his trademark mustache and top hat, Vista wields a pair of sabers in battle. In his youth, he helped his crew in battles against foes like the legendary Roger Pirates. More recently, Vista has clashed with Mihawk, the man currently acknowledged as the strongest swordsman in the world. While we haven't seen much of his swordsmanship, what we have seen certainly impresses. Number 8, Shiryu. <laughs> Once the head jailer of the hellish prison Impeldown, Shiryu was imprisoned there himself for excessive violence, which is really saying something. While he has gained devil fruit powers recently, they only let him turn invisible, and he's plenty strong without them. Shiryu is said to be on equal footing with Magellan, Impeldown's monstrously powerful warden. His swordsmanship is so blindingly fast, he's able to cut his foes down in an instant. While the full scope of his abilities remains as unseen as he can be, as one of the Blackbeard pirates, Shiryu is sure to be one of the strongest swordsmen around come the series endgame. <laughs> Number 7, Shimotsuki Ryuma. Yahazugiri! Not every great swordsman in One Piece is still alive. Ryuma was a Wano samurai from hundreds of years ago, renowned as the God of the Sword. His feats while still alive include killing a dragon, and his haki was potent enough to turn his blade Shusue permanently black. Even Ryuma's zombie animated by Gekko Moria proves a powerful opponent. His revived corpse gives Zoro a quick yet incredible battle that topples a tower. Although his true strength in his prime remains largely unseen, Ryoma's legendary clout in Wano and post-mortem battles are enough to mark him as a spectacular swordsman. Number 
Number six, Kozuki Oden. Speaking of samurai, perhaps the strongest and most renowned of them all was Kozuki Oden. The late head of the Kozuki clan was larger than life in personality and in deeds. He sliced a giant boar in half and somehow didn't kill it. He held onto a chain behind a ship for three days. He fought Roger and Whitebeard and lived to tell the tale. And perhaps most impressive of all, Odin gave Kaido a permanent scar and nearly killed him. The man was so hot-blooded that he withstood being boiled alive for an hour, a man among men. Number 5. Zoro Arguably the second strongest crew member in the Straw Hat Pirates, Zoro is an absolute beast. Along with ludicrous physical strength and endurance, Zoro wields three swords in battle, which he uses to deadly effect in a variety of ways. He can slash massive objects like entire ships or enormous stone titans from a distance or up close. Zoro has imitated Kinemon's Foxfire style successfully and even matched Odin's ability to wound Kaido. Most impressive of all, Zoro has managed to block a combo attack from Kaido and Big Mom. The feat not even the rest of our entries can claim. He's not the strongest swordsman in the world yet, but Zoro is closing in on his dream. Number 4. Silver's Rayleigh <laughs> From the right-hand man of the next Pirate King, we turn to the first mate of the original one. Dark King Silver's Rayleigh may be a senior citizen, but he still makes people tremble at the mention of his name. While versed in every form of hockey, Rayleigh can knock out a room of guards with a look and take on a marine admiral like Kizaru, who's made of light and come away unscathed. <laughs> He can even throw bullets as fast as a gun. Oh yeah, and he's pretty handy with a sword too. The fact that Rayleigh performs all these incredible things at an advanced age is even more impressive. We've only seen a little of Rayleigh in his prime, and it's astounding. Number 3. Mihawk The pirate currently acknowledged as the world's strongest swordsman is, no surprise, quite good with a blade. Dracul Hawkeye's Mihawk is the pinnacle for which many swordsmen, Zoro included, strive for. He picks apart Zoro in their first meeting and gives him a scar to remember. <laughs> The ex-warlord slices through a massive ice tsunami during the Summit War by accident. But perhaps the biggest testament to Mihawk's immense strength is that he has fought against Vista, Zoro, and other powerful opponents like fellow ex-warlord Crocodile, not to mention numerous duels with one of the four emperors and never been visibly injured. But who could be stronger than the strongest swordsman? <laughs> Number 2. Shanks oh, 
Not only is Shanks the strongest living swordsman, he's also one of the strongest men in the world. Shanks dueled Mihawk many times, and while Mihawk may have claimed the title of strongest swordsman, he never definitively defeated Shanks. Even losing an arm, and his dominant one at that, hasn't prevented Shanks from being considered one of the four emperors. He could clash evenly with Whitebeard, splitting the sky. <laughs> And his haki is on another level entirely, making the Whitebeard Pirates and even Marine Admirals sweat bullets. We may not have seen Shanks go all out yet, but when his very presence brings war to a halt, that certainly says plenty about how powerful he is. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Gold D. Roger Come, sorry. Come on, you had to see it coming. The Pirate King himself was a swordsman and a monstrously powerful one at that. The late Gold Roger is one of the strongest men to sail the seas. You'd have to be to conquer the Grand Line as he did. He regularly fought against monsters like Garp and Whitebeard, the latter of whom could create earthquakes with a swing of his arm. Roger even flung Odin across half an island with one hand. And he even took down a mysterious legend like Rox D. Zebek, albeit with Garp's help. Roger has been the gold standard for strength in One Piece practically since its beginning, and seeing him in action never disappoints. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.